Hi, my name is Divya Iyer, and I'm a transportation engineer at the Michigan Department of Transportation. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the I-75 project in Oakland County. It's often referred to as a modernization project, but why? Well, there are several reasons. One, I-75 is really old. It's safe to say that the pavement and the bridges this project is replacing were built before your parents were even born. We're talking the 1960s here. Two, it's outdated. Today, the freeway carries so much more traffic than when it was originally built. More traffic means a better design is needed to reduce crashes. That's something this modernization project will correct. And three, speaking of crashes, this new version of I-75 will be safer not only for the cars on the freeway, but for those leaving the freeway. This project is not about getting people home quicker, it's about getting people home safer. Another important part of this project, the cool factor. Let's take a look. First up is the tunnel. Right now, crews are building a four mile long tunnel under the service drive that's 100 feet below ground. How do you do that? With mining equipment, we call a tunnel boring machine. Don't let the name fool ya. This machine is far from boring. It's really a 300 foot long train that's designed to eat through dirt, clay, and whatever else is located 100 feet below the surface. The cutter head at the front of the train acts like a blender, chopping up everything in its way and transporting it through the machinery so that it can be removed. After removing the debris, the miners that work with the machine install prefabricated concrete walls and a ceiling to protect themselves as they move forward. They also have equipment that provides them with electricity and ventilation in the tunnel to keep them safe. When done, the tunnel will hold storm water collected from the freeway and the service drives. This helps local communities near the freeway because it does not combine the rainwater from the freeway with that collected on other streets, preventing flooding in the communities. The tunnel has the capacity to hold up to 26 million gallons of water. Also, the electronic components in the tunnel can manage the discharge rate into the county drain, further preventing damage by not overwhelming the system. The tunnel is expected to be completed in the fall of 2022. Another cool feature of this project is how crews are working to protect the environment. In the past, the construction industry was a major contributor to large quantities of landfill waste. But this I-75 project is taking steps to reduce landfill waste by recycling between 70 and 100% of the materials used to build pavement, bridges, walls, and of course, the tunnel. When building the road, crews recycle the old pavement to be used for the new base of the freeway. This is done by using on-site portable concrete plants. The old pavement is put into a crusher, which separates old stone, steel, and other materials so that it can be transformed into a new material that will help provide stability to the new pavement. The old steel is then recycled to be used for future purposes, such as new steel for bridges or car parts or any other project here in Michigan that requires the use of steel. The portable plant also mixes the new concrete to be used for the road surface right on site. This prevents additional trucks traveling over many miles to deliver fresh concrete to the project. Another environmental benefit will be the planting of trees native to Michigan. The replanting of trees reduces carbon dioxide, which can be produced by vehicles using the nearby I-75 roadway. Having more trees will mean additional levels of carbon dioxide will be processed out of the air, and the trees and the landscaping will provide a habitat and support for birds and other wildlife. As you can see, the current I-75 modernization project is not only designed to keep people safe, but also to keep our earth cleaner and safer too.